An unsolved murder from 1971 has Walton County officials still searching for answers. There was a call that came into the sheriff's department back in 1971. They responded. Uh, they found the, uh, the wife here with him and found uh, uh, Bobby Ray deceased. The then 31-year-old Bobby Ray Jones bartended, managed, and lived at the Lone Branch Bar in Darlington with his wife, Betty Jones. In the early morning of September 30th, the bar was closed and the two were staying in the back of the building when Bobby left the room to answer a knock on the door. Betty stayed behind in the bedroom, but what she heard brought her to the door as well. Bobby Ray opened the door. There was some conversation. She remembers hearing just a little bit of a, some type of a noise and then she heard a gunshot. She waited just a few seconds because she, she didn't know what was really going on. Then she came out, heard the door close, and she finds Bobby Ray Jones laying um, in this area right here, uh, taking his last breath. The Lone Branch Bar closed down since the incident and was transformed into a church. But investigator Steve Sunday says the inside of the building hasn't changed much. A lot of their dancing, pool, stuff like that was, was done out in that area. They have a band occasionally. But now it's a church. Even the bricks that lined the bar in the 70s are still intact today. Yep, if these bricks could talk. The gunman was able to flee the scene fast enough never to be found. But investigator Sunday shares why he and his team will not give up their questioning. You know, we, we need answers. Uh, we'd like to give his family some answers. And his brother, who I spoke with, uh, who's a pastor of a church, um, he, he said, you know, we just want to know why says, whatever we do will never bring Bobby back. And we understand that. It, it, you know, whatever we do won't bring him back. But it can give that family some peace. Now next month marks 48 years since someone opened up this door and shot and killed Bobby Ray Jones. And unfortunately, that means that most of the informants involved in this case have since passed away too. But we were able to track down his brother, and we spoke with him over the phone. Bobby Ray was just a fun-loving uh, person. I, I would have never thought that he had any enemies that would want to do that. Uh, as best you can tell, he's just a fun-loving person, and uh, that kind of person you don't think it would have an enemy in the world. But uh, I would like to see the person that could, could hate my brother. Uh, I've long since forgiven him. I would just like them to look me in my eye and tell me why they wanted to do that to it. And it may be that the person that done this is, you know, already passed away themselves. But someone, someone knows, you know, who done this. If you have any information, you're asked to share it with the Walton County Sheriff's Department, no matter the significance. They may think that their information may not be that important enough. But in, in, in cases in the past, people need have come forward and that little piece of information broke a case or you know and that's what we're hoping that will happen here some people may have that information and they're not thinking that it's important they need to come forward with it because let us let us look at it and see if it has any merit in watson county for news 13 i'm amber spradley panhandle strong